Hi, I'm Carrie White with Bitstack TV, and I am here with Henry Burns from Guild and Associates. Henry, thanks for taking the time to talk You're to welcome. me today. So tell me a little bit about what Guild is all about. Guild is a uh, primarily a chemical engineering company that uh, found a niche uh, about 20 years ago in building uh, ground uh, support equipment for mostly the Army. We build the Army's uh, laundry advanced system which recycles water. It's a huge water savings for the Army. And we also build the Army's uh, mobile integrated remains collection system for collection of human remains on the battlefield. And we also do uh, chemical and biological uh, agent protection, filtration, that type of thing. Now, Henry, I heard you have a great quote that sort of sums up Guild. Tell me that. So, for our purposes at the at the uh, ITSIC uh, conference, uh, training simulation. What we see is we see a lot of uh, really nice training simulators that show uh, how aircraft can be flown and tanks can be driven, but there's not a lot of emphasis on how to maintain the equipment. So, what I like to say is that. Uh, if you can't, you can't fly it and you can't drive it if you can't fix it. And so we're focused on helping soldiers and sailors and airmen fix equipment. Wonderful. What are some of the main products you're showcasing here today? So we have two uh, primary two simulators that we're showing. One is of our laundry advanced system that we built about uh, five years ago. And then recently the Army asked us to do a simulation trainer for their water purification system. And those are the two main items we're showing off here today. We were talking earlier, and it sounds like Guild is making some great advances. Tell me about those. Correct, yes. So, in the past, people focused on simulators, and this is a true simulation of every single uh, problem that can go on in a piece of equipment, and so that you get an exact uh, replication of any fault and what it would look like on a display, so the soldier is using his tech manual and actually fixing it just like he would on a real piece of equipment. And then the other things that we're working on is we've taken it from a platform that's a little larger and in a classroom to handheld devices, HTML5 uh, type uh, device neutral items so that they can use iPads, uh, self, different kinds of cell phones, uh, surfaces, uh, so they can take their training back to the room or wherever they happen to be sitting and have some spare time. Wonderful, Henry, thank you so much. It was great talking to you today. For more coverage, stay tuned to ITSEC TV.